what some people say sometimes. Say, yeah, when you clean in the barracuda, right? Now, if you don't see no flies on the barracuda, that's poison. This week on Lucky Fish, we get the lowdown on cigatera poisoning from a local. Bingo. Discuss seawater temperatures and passage planning. To a community. Zyre and Mick put food on the table again. Sure, I've got my half of the fish. And cap it all off with a bath. Seawater bath. Ooh, it's nice and warm. The water's noticeably warmer now, just in the last one day or two days. It's like a plume of warm seawater's arrived. They're moving north as the summer approaches. We're expecting the fishing to be a lot better. Apparently, uh, temperatures have been about three degrees cool for this time of year. And the fishing hasn't been so good for many of the professional guys that come here every year. So things might be improving with the arrival of the warm water. Maybe the fish have come too. Well, Mick's favourite. Mick from Sweden has brought the warm water with him. Go figure. It's so many good things. So Stuart, what's your plan for today? We have two choices. We can sail either southeast down to Long Island in this direction, or we can sail northwest up the Exuma chain to an anchorage community called Barataree, which is about 15 miles from here. What's influencing our decisions and which way to go is the weather. Uh, we always try and sail with the with the wind uh, on our beam or aft of the beam, and also the fact that we have to be back here in Georgetown on Wednesday or Thursday to pick up a part for the outboard. Uh, so we're looking at the weather three days from now to see in which direction it's going to be most favourable to be approaching Georgetown from. And the weather forecast as it stands now, we're using an app called windy.com which is pretty accurate for this area. It is suggesting that there is a northerly change coming. We, in fact, we've been watching the wind clock around or veer through the southwest to the northwest over the next day or so, and then around to the east. So that influences which direction we'll sail today and then what the weather will be like when we come back. And we've made the decision to go in the northwesterly direction to sail fairly tight on the wind going north, we're going to leave Goat Key, sail out through Conk Key Cut uh, for about 10 miles on the outside of the chain of islands and then in, back inside through a place called Soldier Key and then continue north on the inside passage across these sandbars and then approach Barateri for our anchorage tonight which will probably be late this afternoon into the evening when we arrive there. Then we'll be able to reprovision the boat on Monday tomorrow. That's the plan. Uh, let's go and do it. Right now we're heading out through Conk Key Cut. We're uh, just leaving Goat Key behind. We've got about a 10 mile sail up on the ocean side. Perfect sailing conditions. We could do with a little bit more wind. It's certainly a beautiful day here. Um, we've only got about between six and 10 knots of wind. So we'll very likely be motor sailing as we're doing currently until the wind improves. Twenty minutes later, Zaya is on to the first fish of the day. Oh, 
Oh, great. <laughs> this is a fighter. <laughs> See, she's there. One with plank. Yeah, we give it to the locals. Yeah, give it to the locals. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. We lost it. Okay. But she didn't have to wait long before another hookup. It's small. Oh, I got my other line. What happened, honey? Shark got my half of the fish. My time, my turn. Getting before the shark gets in, Nick. There you see. We learn something out of this and this that is that we have to have a the uh, when the barrels are around we have to have a steel end of the line because otherwise this is what happens the teeth were so sharp that it cut the line from here here and also here so actually the knot is okay and everything was okay but you can really feel the dents in the line that the these sharp teeth made yeah. it might i think it was a small barrel it was nice, it was really nice and I really had to, I, I tried to push it because uh, we know this shark was around. So, uh, yeah, but we, sometimes you get them, sometimes not. Indeed. Yeah, that's fishing. So eyes on again. Gonna panic when he gets near the boat, so nice easy, and steady. Easy. Just keep it steady, and if, if he stops, just let him stop. I can see something. I don't see anything. Here we go. Yes. You have to move around the back of the rudder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Going back again. Get ready. So what did you catch the barrow on? Look With at this that. funny handmade lure. <laughs> That's quite cool. This yeah. is a chip bag, chips bag. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Well we're here right on sunset and we've come to Soldiers Key. You can probably just see the stone monument right on Soldiers Key. The evening is very quiet. There's not a lot of wind at all. It's almost a dead calm. And they're trying pilking. I just had two feet circling around my bait, by, around my lure. So we'll see what happens. It's quite a very special place to be, to be able to see uh, the bottom at, at this time of the day. Then when it reaches the bottom, I think it's around 15 meter now, does that, you know loose so then you tighten it so that's at the bottom then you're gonna lift it up one or two meter so you kind of I measure how much you're gonna pull it up two meters that's enough when you lift it up and drop it look is that uh, it's um, as Mick told you or not it's almost like a Fish thinks it's some other fish dying. It's like a fish when fish dies makes that kind of motion, I suppose. We can easily see the bottom 
uh, some parts are sand and some parts are something else that means that we have a variety of, of uh, stuff on the bottom which is good it indicates there there is a change of the uh, altitude yeah. of the bottom and some parts it looks from here like it's uh, with algae or seaweed and uh, that's also good because that's where small fishes are hiding and then the predators go around them and see try to catch anything and the boat is it, it bo the boat was kind of rotating and uh, but now it's it's quite steady and now i see a good spot so i shall just try to let it all the way down and let's see what's happening Yes, I see fish down there, quite good size. There are some red dots which also use to affect the, the eagerness of them for, for hunt them. We just get some minutes for the sunset and we'll try some minutes more. Pilking didn't yield any results today, but it has shown itself to be successful. So I think we'll be trying it a bit more often. What do you think, Mick? It's different from the others you use, and it should be, of course, you should try it. Yes. Well, it's interesting you brought a Scandinavian fishing technique to the Caribbean. Yes. And we've had some success with it, so it just goes yes. to show this. Yes. It's a craft, not a yeah. science fishing, isn't it? So we're just going ashore now to check out the community at Barrateri and see if we can trade this barracuda. We got some nice barracuda last night, we caught about two or three of them, oh, yeah. a few of them got away. Mm -hmm. One of them was quite big, that was the one we brought you. Okay, you know? all right. And what's the story here, I mean we've been told that if, uh, if you do catch them rather than sort of uh, just put them back in the sea, some of the local people will eat them, you know? Yeah, the local we do eat them. We do them, but like I say, it's just, you know, like, it's impossible sometimes you could get hit, you know what I mean? It all depends on what the barracuda eat, you know what I mean? And Pessy is like, it's an old, old one, like, you know. Yeah. I like them the size what you bought you, you know what I mean? You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. More tender, younger, and, you Yeah, know? yeah, that's it. You see, the whole of this more eat in history. So, do you test them at all before you eat them, or is no. there any way to test yes, them? Yes, eat it. Now, as I admit, what some people say sometimes, say, yeah, when you're cleaning the barracuda, right? Now, if you don't see no flies on the barracuda, that's poison, you know oh, what I mean? But like I say, it's just probably a myth, you know? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, but... And what about the restaurants? Do they ever serve it? Uh, some restaurants will have it just as a little KLC on the side, you know what I mean? But they'll tell you... They'll tell you eat what at it your, is. Yeah, eat at your own risk, you know what I mean? But, oh, you know, yes. it's more like appetizer. Some people just, they crave yeah, it. Right. Yeah, yeah, give it a try. Yeah. It just isn't a big seller, like, you know, like barracuda on a menu. You won't find it, like, you know? Yeah, for sure. But it's good though, I love it. Yeah, we mm. eat it. Well, mm. we yeah, eat it's it. good We're fish. small, but yeah. you know, we try. I don't know, what do you think about our system? We we eat a little bit of uh, fillet, you know, just a small piece of the night before, uh -huh. you know, when it's fresh. Yeah. And then we see how we feel in the morning. Uh -huh. It's good. No, you know, that don't like, people don't get poisoned by a kudu around here. You know? Once, right now, I haven't seen that like in many, many, many years. Like, yeah. say, somebody say they've been poisoned with a barracuda. You know what I mean? So, oh, that's heartening. Yeah. especially right around here, you know what I mean? And like Zomas, you know, barracudas are good. Yeah, right. So, up. you'll get, say, uh, you eat a barracuda, like, say, like in like, like Nassau, like, say, Nassau Harbor, where you eat a little stuff, maybe pollution, or, you know, like, just like a busy, yeah, busy places, area. yeah, busy area, like that. Mm. Maybe it's a chance then, but, you know, yeah. but around here, these waters, yeah. you don't gotta worry about it.
Bingo, that'll do us. Huh? That'll do us. That'll do us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Well, we've been trying to find a spot where we can buy some rum here, and I think we just found it. Looks like a bar. We just left Barataryan's eyes into a fish already. We were having a lovely sail, and uh, the line's just gone ballistic. She's got a good sized fish on, probably Barracuda. Just started the engine to try and get some control of the boat. And just uh, shooting the main in so it doesn't flop the. She... What happened? Barracuda. Yeah. Okay, I, mean, I think we'll drop the mainsail. Right, I just uh, keep a bit of tension on it. And I'll pull it in. Fossil down. Engine running, beautiful. Next is drop the mainsail and then uh, we're just going to motor over to this anchorage for the night. We're expecting the wind to swing southeast, so we should be quite protected during the night when it does. At the moment it's going to be a little bit choppy because we're on a lee shore anchoring there. It's a bit of a make do. We're going to get some coconut milk for rum punch tonight with our coconut rum. And these are the coconuts we traded for the barracuda. Oh, yeah. Oh. A lot of milk in these green ones. And look at it sparkling, it's just like uh, lemonade. How many rum punches is that going to make? Mine. <laughs> just in case if there's a blockage. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> Tasty, wow, really, really pure. Yes, excellent. I'm gonna have a seawater bath. Ooh, it's nice and warm. Oh, <laughs> oh I can't fit anymore, I've gotten fat. <laughs> 
this is first time I work. <laughs> this is my new bath. <laughs> what is it? 165 liter cooler. Angle cooler. <laughs> it's funny. It's not too stable. <laughs> Where's my... Here, 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 I'm stuck. <laughs> see what is that. Mm, that's so Well, dear viewers, subscribe now and don't miss next week's grisly find that uncovers a tragic story. What do you think about this uh, find here? Yes, it's a, it's a skull. Definitely, you can see easily see the uh, connections be between the plates. Let's all give a huge thanks to our patrons. Without them, these videos wouldn't be possible. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a like and leave your comments and questions below. We try to answer everyone. Until next week, thank you for watching.